Welcome to our fifth segment of our cybersecurity course about phishing, where we talk about social engineering, exploiting human trust, curiosity, and emotions to understand how attackers approach our weaknesses to take advantage of those who are vulnerable. We will delve into common social engineering techniques, their impacts, and most importantly, strategies to defend against them. Let's explore the human element of cybersecurity and how awareness and education can be our strongest defense. Let's start by understanding the term. What is social engineering? Social engineering is a tactic used by cyber criminals to manipulate individuals into divulging confidential information, performing actions that compromise security or bypassing security measures. Unlike traditional hacking methods that focus on exploiting technical vulnerabilities, social engineering targets human behavior and psychology. Social engineering relies on deception, persuasion, and manipulation to achieve its objectives. Attackers often use various psychological techniques to gain the trust of their targets, exploit their emotions, or create a sense of urgency to prompt immediate action. Common social engineering techniques include pretexting, baiting, tailgating, phishing urgency, and impersonation. These techniques aim to exploit human vulnerabilities, such as trust, curiosity, fear, or authority, to achieve malicious goals. Now that we have a clear understanding of what social engineering is, let's move on to explain what are those social engineering techniques that attack the most vulnerable side of humans. Let's go! The first one we are going to explain is pretexting. Pretexting is a social engineering technique where an attacker creates a fabricated scenario or pretext to manipulate individuals into divulging sensitive information or performing actions that compromise security. The goal of pretexting is to establish a false sense of trust or credibility with the target, leading them to disclose confidential data or carry out unauthorized actions. In other words, it is when a bad actor makes up a story or situation to trick people into sharing private info or doing things they shouldn't. For clear understanding, here's an example of pretexting. Imagine you receive a phone call from someone claiming to be from your bank's fraud department. They explain that there's been suspicious activity on your account and they need to verify your identity for security reasons. To do this, they ask for your account number, PIN, and other personal information. In a pretexting scenario, the attacker may pose as a legitimate entity, such as a trusted colleague, customer service representative, or technical support personnel to deceive the target. They often use persuasive communication skills, forged credentials, or fake stories to make their pretext appear genuine and convincing. Pretexting exploits your trust in the caller's identity and the urgency of the situation to deceive you into sharing confidential data highlighting the dangers of social engineering tactics. Pretexting relies heavily on social engineering tactics, such as building rapport, exploiting trust, and creating a sense of urgency or importance to manipulate targets into complying with their requests. It underscores the importance of skepticism, verification protocols, and cybersecurity awareness to detect and thwart such deceptive tactics.